My name is Eric Schultz. I'm with the Western New York Osteological Survey, and our job is to create uh, images for digitizing the skeletal structures of all of the animals in Western New York. Some of these structures are very simple, others are very complex. Today we'll be working on imaging a human molar. This is the basic scanning environment. As you can see, I have my computer set up with a monitor here and I can move this stand around. I have a small light set up right there. This allows me to have a dim amount of light hitting my keyboard in case I need to type anything in without having any excess light in my scanning environment. I have a flat black photographic curtain hung. There's separation between the curtain and my working. Now, on the bench you can see I have several lenses, the 90 degree corner from the calibration panel, two homemade calibration corners, a photographic scale, veneer calipers, black modeling clay. Uh, specifically this is Crayola clay. Any modeling clay will work. Uh, black is essential. We have the David turntable. Let me show you what we're going to be imaging today. This is the tooth I was referring to. I'll position it so the camera can have a chance to focus on it. The first thing you're going to need to do in order to do microscopic, well not microscopic, but very small, approaching microscopic imaging, um, is you're going to need to get new lenses for your system. The 12 millimeter Computar lens that comes with the David system is very good for general imaging, but it isn't going to allow you to get close enough to a small object to focus on it. As I began developing my lens kit, I found on the uh, found on Amazon.com. I found a Computar 50 millimeter C mount lens. Uh, the David camera uses C mount lenses. In order to get this lens to work, I had to put what's called an extension tube on the back of the lens. What this does is allows the lens to focus closer than it would normally be able to focus, effectively turning it into a macro lens. This lens, just like the lens that came with your David system, also has an adjustable f-stop, which allows you to control how much light passes through the lens onto the CMOS circuitry in your camera. This is my current favorite lens. As you can see, it unscrews very easily from the David camera just as any of these other lenses would. C-mount lens. This lens is a zoom lens, which means you can adjust the focal length and it will zoom in or zoom out just as you would expect from a, um, your cell phone. This is the tabletop arm. I find this to be very helpful because it provides absolute stability in my scanning. Now, this is a homemade calibration corner. I use simple hardware store 90 degree clamps. Uh, we purchased these at uh, Home Depot for $10. <clears throat> and then I cut Lexon plexiglass to make up the actual sides for my panel and then slight miters inside the corners with a little bit of silicone glue to prevent them from flexing or moving. This is a calibration panel that is complete and it's set to the 15 millimeter size. This is a very tiny calibration panel as you can see. The next thing that's going to be important to your success is being able to properly mount your materials to your turntable. You'll note on the turntable there's a hole that's absolute dead center. For successful scanning, you want to orient your object along the vertical axis of rotation. Now, I take the modeling clay and I make a small hill in the center of my turntable. And this clay is very flat black. It's almost invisible to the um, camera which really helps when trying to clean up the 3D models. So after making a small hill, 
I just adjust its overall shape so that it will support, in this case, the tooth with minimal contact to the tooth. Next, when you're setting up your environment, as I noted, you want to make sure that your table is flat black, your curtains are flat black, you have separation between your work surface and your background. Also, you want to mark the location of where your turntable sits. Yes, at this point I'm going to close this video.